live from CW31. This is Good Day Sacramento in HD. Plus, avoid traumatized tootsies. How to save your feet during the holiday shopping. And don't cut the shopping trip short because you wore the wrong shoes. Save yourself and your feet a lot of hassle with these tips for your tootsies. 622 now statistics show that shoppers spend approximately 10 hours on their feet during the holiday shopping trips that's a long time it's a lot on your feet now so to make sure that your feet are safe and healthy in this holiday season we're live with a body scientist who has some tips for your tootsies it's katie bowman the creator of aligned and well and katie hi how are you Good morning. Good morning. Okay. So how are you doing? High heels are probably not the best route to take. Yeah, you wouldn't jog in them. Why would you shop in them? Absolutely right. <laughs> Even though you want to look sassy while you're doing your shopping, you got to go for the comfort. Well, you want to be, you know what? Limping never looks good That's <laughs> in any outfit. <laughs> that is true. So I see you have a couple of samples in yes. front of you. What is that? What not to wear or what to wear? Well, a mixture of both. Okay. Um, obviously, I'm going to let you guess whether this is a what not to or what oh, to but wear. Oh, those are so, so. cute. <laughs> They're so See, cute. See, and there's the difference. <laughs> right there, women will say, that's so Friday. cute, and I'll wear it. <laughs> well, and you, this will turn a Black Friday into a Black and Blue Friday. Yeah. You're By right. the time you're yeah. done shopping, you're going to be kind of a gimping along. And and in addition to the heel, there's also how, how narrow it is across the front of the toe box. Uh -huh. It really tends to squish your feet all together. <laughs> so, you know, this is um, what I call the high heel hangover. This is your oh. margarita, and you can have one too many, if you right. know what I mean. <laughs> um, these are more um, of what to wear. This is earth footwear. So earth footwear has two kind of features that I like the best. One okay. is the wider toe box, as you can see, and mm -hmm. they've got a range of anything from a tennis shoe to a to a boot. And then it also has this negative heel, which means it's the opposite of a high heel, okay. although not quite to the extreme. Your weight shifts back and it stacks your heels directly underneath your pelvis, which is where they should be. Because oh, you actually have about, yeah, you know, here's, this is just a foot. And you can see all the bones in the foot. Right. And you have 200, 200 bones in the body and you have 25 to 26 bones in each foot, which means 25% of all of your bones are from the ankle down. So you really need to make sure that mm -hmm. you choose wisely. And, and I would also imagine, Katie, that this is not the time to break in a new pair of shoes. Absolutely correctly. Um, when I, as I'm walking around, I can see people in flip-flops. I can see people in... <laughs> Um, wedges, high heels, and yeah. I see a lot of smart shoes out there today, which is great. And I see a lot of slippers, but you know, it's really early in the morning. That's true. So people it literally takes a just got out of bed. So in the next hour, right. you are actually going to ambush some of those shoppers, right? You're going to point out exactly who is wearing the wrong shoe. Absolutely, it's kind of like a what not to wear. <laughs> <laughs> I like okay. it. Okay, all right. So Arden shoppers, beware. We're looking for you. Okay, we'll check back with you then next hour, Katie. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Katie. Okay, great. See you then. Good idea. Okay, 625 knew this.